MC Mineke Man here, and welcome to this next episode on the Crystalcraft server, where the uh, last episode list, uh, left off, uh, Creeper blew my chest up. Well, I think I saved just about everything. Maybe just a couple of stacks of leaves got lost, but I was able to salvage everything that was on the ground. And I've done some work on the house. Put in some uh, gates there so that baddies wouldn't come in. I was messing around with some door designs here. And it, it kind of looks nice, but the functionality of these don't work. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Added some light. Uh, made this uh, staircase a lot more grand and added these uh, torches on the uh, columns. So this is reminiscent of one of the houses that I built in the uh, Stone Swords uh, place. So it gets down to here and then we have this, I put this gate here as a reminder of which direction is outward towards ground level. And I went ahead and made this uh, all the, this uh, grand staircase wider. It's double wide spiral all the way down and went ahead and continued uh, this uh, fence theme this fence pillar sort of theme going all the way down and being that i widened widened this i had to widen uh where these fences went so that's what it looks like from the outside i went ahead and broke this so that mobs couldn't walk across and we're going to go ahead and go down to the bottom and make a small apology. Uh, I thought that uh, a creeper blast went off down here and blew out uh, some of the fences. I did some more digging and I found a single lava spot that was all isolated from the rest of the lava pool. And it was like two blocks away from this fence. So it was fire spread caused by a lava block and uh, not any team members. So I've, I've done a little bit of digging here. Uh, I haven't harvested the obsidian yet because I still have not made any diamond tools, which I think I'm going to go ahead and do today. And I have not explored any of the uh, mine shaft yet. Oop, diamonds right there. So, uh, I did manage to travel the nether for a little bit. Let's see if this one still works. Let's set home. Should take me back up to the top. Yes. Well, almost the top. The top of the mining. I went ahead and took the half slabs off the floor and put the uh, jungle uh, jungle wood. And did the same thing up there, the jungle wood. So I ended up having to put a layer of dirt down and then putting the jungle wood on it and then excavating the dirt. So that's that. And uh, I... Did the Into the Fire, and I'll show you that clip real quick. Okay, and that leaves... Uh, sniper duel, pig fly, make a cake, which I should probably do. Uh, you need enchantments pretty much to do overkill. 
uh, return a fireball, brew a potion, and locate the end. Adventuring time, which I'm still doing. But I think we need to uh, use this blaze rod and make a brewing stand, which isn't it half slabs? It's been a long time since I made one of these. No. Is it regular blocks? Ah, okay, regular blocks. So did that give it to me? Oh, you actually have to brew a potion. Hmm. All right, well, let's... I think I'm at the point where I can move my chest into the house, and then I'll just sort them later as needed. Okay, I do have some... I have some sand to make into glass. Oh yeah, the the team has also uh, been combining all of our voting gold and emeralds, and a couple. I know one guy ranked up and stuff, and then did a bunch of stuff. And uh, we have a lifetime worth of XP. All right, so this up oh, that three of those. Uh, let's just throw the water source in the corner and fill those up. Grab the water source again. One, two, three. So, <clears throat> we'll give it to us as soon as it's done brewing. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've had to uh, <clears throat> do the achievements. Well, it's done. Oh, okay. Just had to pull it out. Achievement gotten. All right. So that brings us to. Let's zoom out one. Okay. So that branch is done. Locate the end. Unfortunately, I. Out of those, I have two here, and I think I might have one or two at the uh, tree home. I don't think that's enough to actually go searching for an end portal yet at a stronghold. But I can't. <clears throat> no, because I also need uh, obsidian to make a uh, ender chest. So let's use... Let's go ahead and use up these voting diamonds and let's grab some sticks. And I'm going to need a few more diamonds than that. So we got the pants, we got the hat, and the boots. Two, three. And then we have the chest plate. There we go. We have diamond pick, diamond axe, since I use those a lot. Let's go ahead and do the rest of them. So we will do diamond shovel and a diamond sword. So uh, let's get rid of these uh, little uh, skelly drop items and throw on our diamond gear. Let's drop off iron stuff. There we go. We are in diamond gear now. And... And this one, I got the enchanting table and bookshelves, so I can start enchanting items, and I have plenty of XP here. Let me go show you the uh, 
XP vault. And this is in another location of the world. Looks like some have been used, but every one of these chests here is completely full of XP stacks. And let me run all the way down to the other end. XP stacks, XP stacks, XP stacks, XP. Yep, all these are XP. I think, I think somebody, one of the guys in the group said it's 400 something double chest of XP books, uh, of XP bottles. And they've already started going through and sorting absolutely everything. All the enchanted books. Oops, touch items. Um, lots of Unbreaking 3. Unbreaking, we always take Unbreaking as a priority over other enchantments. Uh, fortune... Nope, fortune is not a very common one, apparently. Uh, somebody needs to fix that one. Apparently it's a solid block above that. Is it the same over No, it's not the same over there. Oh well. Yeah, so this is going to last us forever. At, there, there might be plans to make a XP shower out of some of them. Huh, this was where the enchanting room was. Looks like somebody went decided to go do some mining. Oh no, that was that was the entrance into here. Ah Okay. So level is it a level thirty? It is a level thirty, up in the ceiling. That's interesting design. Okay. So we have enough XP. And uh, been collecting a bunch of my own also, but there's a. I want to build a bridge to a Jester's Jungle Temple, and I need to collect some supplies for that. And I will see you over there. All right, coming up on the area. So that's uh, Blocktopus's uh, place. You got uh, Tall Guy's Jungle jungle tree realm going on over there and then we got the uh jungle temple right there and where that torch is is where i'm wanting to build this bridge unfortunately i think this tree just has to go it's going to interfere with whatever little walkway we choose to make and I dropped a bunch of torches here to hopefully keep this lit up so mobs don't sneak up behind me. And morning helps also. <clears throat> so i uh, kind of going to go with a little bit of uh, Tall Guy's design and use some uh, granite for some of the builds. Obviously going to stick with the jungle wood. And... I want to make a f kind of, oh, I'm not even sure how I want to describe it, but you got your, uh, your pillars for in the ground, which actually, now that I think about it, might need to go up a second block. And forward back up to the edge there we go so something like that and then we're going to use half slabs uh, just so mobs won't spawn and those will actually be a bit taller because I maybe well maybe not there 
Anyway, I want these to do somewhat of a sloping effect. And I guess I should pace out where the middle is and and uh, get the other side where I want it to start. And I will update you with some progress in just a moment. All right, well, I worked through the day cycle and a night cycle. And this is what I've come up with. I'm not quite happy with it. Um, it's got the gist, kind of the gist, but I think it's too thick or something. It just doesn't seem, something about it's just not right for me. And I'm not sure what yet. But I threw some torches on it uh, to help keep mobs away even though they won't be able to spawn on it so I got the the main pillars and then the uh, tension pillars now I don't know it, it works but at the same time it's not what I wanted but I don't know maybe maybe just go ahead and keep it this high or something yeah, let's let's see what that looks like if we keep it that high. So one, two, three off of this. So most of these are gonna be going into the water. And then three wide. So take that off. Steer step those. Maybe, maybe even bring it down to there. No, I don't think, I don't think that low is necessary. And all of them go in the water. So apparently, ambient torches don't work underwater, but if you drop one, it does. That's a interesting result. Alright. And need one... Oh, oh, there's the dirt. One center. So let's go ahead and chop those down oh, and one more level so two off sides ah, I forgot to put the torch up there too there we go We center those, and let's go retrieve our pieces, because these fences, 1.8 fences, are not all that cheap. All right, let's let's climb up in that tree again and get a uh, overview of it. Yeah, I think I think that's better. Keep it a little bit more on the simple side, not so much the uh the overly grand. Yeah, that feels better to me. All right, so we have a connector path way from the uh rest of us over to Jester's place. Now these uh, tiki torches that we've been doing are 
double tall. Now, tall guy's been doing these. He's been marking the path with them, but I think we need to do an area, an area torching with these to help keep mobs from ambushing travelers in this area at least. So we got that one there. I would like to put lights up in the trees. I've done that before and uh, the light just shines through the leaves. But um, leaf despawn uh, with leaves despawning, I think that won't work quite as well. And that's kind of close. We've been doing them a little bit further than that. So that's a bit of a distance. So maybe move this one to here. And then we could put the final one. Something like there. And then oh, more stupid vines. Always growing. Uh, reach. Actually, I'm. Since the one time I don't have leaves on me, I just throw a leaf up in there and kill the vine, but oh well. And then, so we got a torch there, and so maybe, maybe the final one about here or so. And need to do it on the other side of the shore, and I think that would be it for uh, for all of this. We got. Bunnies spawning, we've got ocelot spawning, we got sheep spawning, cows and uh and chickens all naturally spawning now uh with all this cleared out area. So we've got uh animals to start a farm again. Chester uh didn't want to be in charge of animal farms. So he uh, released them into the wild. Oh, let's get up. Oh, missed. There we go. This might be too thick of trees in here. Might have to thin those out. All right, so well, let's put a lamppost on this side this time. And yeah, let's put one here. So maybe that lamp post should be on the inside of this tree. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe they need to be moved over just a little bit. Uh, just simply so it directs your eye as to the direction, direction you should go. Rather than kind of going la 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 exploring around so you can go this way or you can go this way which looks like we got a vine problem getting out of control over there also so you come this way kind of dodge the trees and then it lines up and being that this is an isolated area over here, go ahead and have these torches on both sides. Yeah, this definitely needs to be lit up over here. Oh. Right. Yeah, I think that's better. It's definitely better. Got dark spots over there though. Oh, and right here, jump off this, is Fall to Your Death Ravine. 
Um, down in there is one of uh, the branches to Bloch's, uh, Blochtopus's uh, mine shaft that he's been doing underground. And actually this spot right here is an entrance to a cave that uh, zigzags his, uh, one of his other ravines underground as well. Let's knock out these extra torches. All right, is that just, just the tiki's? Yes, I think that's just the tiki's now. Then I'm going to move this one a little bit closer. Oh, he's using oak? Huh. I thought we were going to use jungle wood for all of our builds. Alright. So, now you come to this point and you see the spot this direction, which I think needs a few more stairs. That way you can also come from over there and then you come on this way let's go ahead and widen that he's not using he's not using jungle wood is he nope he's not and then let's go ahead and make this a little bit pronounced Let's replace that there we go that one okay Yep. All right. And then we get into his area. That looks like jungle wood. But that's oak wood. Huh. Okay. Uh, there's plenty of oak in these forests also, so he might not have even necessarily been paying attention to that. Maybe these are all the little fine details that you have to uh, just kind of walk back and forth dozens of times before you get the feel like, oh, okay, yeah, that's that's what we're looking for, sort of thing. Hmm, maybe maybe have the path come this direction and then T right here because this. There is no need for this pond to necessarily be here. So it could tee and maybe come this direction and just go straight this way. Lots of possibilities. But let's go ahead and have a look at what the rest of this uh path is so yeah there are dark spots between tiki's which is fine um i think that one needs to be moved let's move it over here now i'm gonna have all these oak ones in my inventory all right and then let's move this one away from the shore just a little bit. Oop. Oop. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it that time. Yeah. Alright, so you come along. Yeah, the tiki is a little bit closer to the uh, pathway. I think is uh, 
looks a little bit more normal-ish, I guess. Let's do it about there. And that will give us the ability to put another half slab there. Yeah, that's that's cool. Hmm, that might be a little too much zigging and zagging right there. I mean, it all works. It's just uh, little things like that that you have to make a, a preference of. And I do like these being wider. That is for sure. We'll go ahead and extend that all the way. And, and I guess we're going to go ahead and keep this for now. But uh, that's still... Why is there a light source? Oh, enchanted. That's right. Not too bad. Diamond armor and all that's glory. How? How, how, how? I, I, I... I promise you, I trim this tree a couple times a day. It's got to be because those are branching sideways. That's got to be what it is. All right. And, okay, I don't see any more vines there. Unless it's wrapping around from the other side. Well, if there's vines again, I'll know that's what it was. All right, so now we will go on through this way. Spiders, spiders, spiders. Give me your string so I can make plenty of bows. Nope. One string out of all those spiders. Oh well. And then this got torched up. I guess mobs were spawning too much. Oh yeah, let's get torched off my hot bar. Alright. And then uh, Jay Breeze and uh, uh, Sun Fury have been doing some progress over on this side. And it's a big enough progress that I want to go ahead and make mention of it in this episode. <clears throat> They're going to be making a rail line that uh, connects to everybody's place. So we're still going to have this path go this way, but this is no longer going to go to their house. I think this is just simply going to cut across the ravine and kind of go that way into the jungle if we ever move, uh, develop that direction. But yeah, they <clears throat> they started this uh, rail system. It's going to start up in their house. Well, it does start up in their house. And it spirals down around a tree trunk and comes this way. And then they're putting these hanging lanterns in, which I actually like. And it goes over the pathway, and this is it so far. And I don't know exactly, and I don't think they know exactly, but I, they're going to want it to go by each of our places. I don't know if it's actually going to stop at each place or one of those things where you just kind of hop out at your location or something like that. But uh, this is going to be the next phase of travel so that we don't have to use up all of our uh, hunger walking from one end of... Uh, well, this is actually the halfway point of the jungle. It goes as far as it goes that direction. It goes again that far that direction. So that is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed uh, a little bit of on-screen building. I know I cut away for uh, a chunk of the uh, bridge design, but uh, that's... Uh, 
to actually record every single second of me building something would uh, probably end up being an hour-long episode. And I know most of you don't want to see uh, see that sort of stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you don't mind. It helps me out a lot. Uh, I haven't said that in a while, but it really does help out. What? That's my head. Why is my head here? Does that does a player's head always look like the player that's looking at it? So if Jester looks at it, does he see his head? That would be interesting. I don't know. It's something to ask the team. Anyway, uh, please leave a like, and I will see you all in the next episode.